lost my mom with cancer four and a half years ago, and uh, I grew up in New York, and uh, definitely have a lot of uh, similar troubles that James had, uh, but it's not my story entirely. Working with all the people that I worked with, because they all brought their personal stories to it, sure. so that's what made it a film. Your stem cell transplants and your steroids, who fought for you? I'm your son, and that is what I'm supposed to do. And I'm happy to be here because I love you. That's right. But I need to go away. And when I come back, I will be ready for life. You know, I really responded to the script when I read it. I was very intrigued by it. Um, I thought it was really original, and I thought it didn't kind of spoon feed you what you were supposed to think about the characters and the decisions they make, um, which is refreshing because that's, you know, true 99% of the time is we understand who the good guys are and who the bad guys are. Me and Josh have been friends for a long time. I mean, I was able to kind of at least subconsciously work on the script for a while. Like, I was able to redraft, you know, at least a year, year and a half before we actually started filming it. So, I mean, we didn't work on it, but I was able to read it and have it kind of floating around in my head for a while and, and um, you know, think, think, just constantly think about it and think about all, all, all the different things we can do and how to, and how to, and how to work the scenes. So, um, it was a it was a luxury, uh, yeah, especially kind of given the the time constraints that we had for for shooting. Josh loved his mom very much, and um, you know, to try to get the the portrayal as as right as I could, and and for all the all the strength and the weakness, and the and the love and the pain and the you know anger and the forgiveness. Do you know what I mean? It's a sure. real. That's what makes it a really wonderful part. Is that it's you know she's not just one thing. Even at a, a given moment, she's not just one thing. The thing about film and appearing ill on film is so much. You know we're we spend so much time, um, even in really well done films. You know, making ourselves look so much better than we look in real life. <laughs> that if you start with that kind of level of well and attractive and healthy and then you you strip it away i mean for a person just to look on film the way they look in real life not being sick it's it's shocking enough and then you know i think our 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 makeup department just did an amazing job with um you know really going for it but not going too far and also there were there were um <clears throat> I don't know what you would call them, stuff that they put on my skin that they glued to me mm -hmm. so that it, it, it when she really starts to get sick, that it looks like she has no muscle tone, like she loses all her muscle tone, which I think is in a very effective 